Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sunny, and today I'm here with Arisa Clicks. And we have a very special project for you. We are going to be, ma be making Yursa a leather harness. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show you. <laughs> so I do have my tools all set out. You can use a lot of your DeWalt tools from home. I have my hammer, screwdrivers, uh, pliers, scissors, and there are some specialty tools that are specific to a leather project. Certain cutters, staples, and the punches. So, I'm excited to show you how this all works. Me too. I have no idea how to use these tools, so I feel like I'm in safe hands. This is going to be so much fun to do. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> Yay! All right. Let's do it. Let's go! All right. So the first step is cutting your leather to size. I pre-cut some strips, which you can also buy, I buy these at a place called Tandy Leather. They're known nationwide and they have a ton of variety, like this. So I will go and buy a full hide and I'll show you how I cut those strips in a moment with this tool. That's so Asian looking. Right. That looks like something I would find in an old shed at home, you know, in like an old barn. I love it. Right? <laughs> now we're going to cut the leather to width. So already started it with the scissors. We're just gonna pull this tool. Nice, that's smooth. Nice ancient tool. Mm. Next step, we're going to attach our strips to our O-ring using a rivet, just like this. Hold the top part, I guess you could say, of the rivet. Set that through. Snap the back. Nice. Just like that. Now we're ready to start fitting the harness to the model. Turn around for me. I know I want my ring to go about mid back. I'm going to measure to where I want my second O ring. About right there. And why we want the O-ring in the back like that is to keep the straps from not falling off, right? Yep. Yeah. You can do good. straps on each side. I prefer to do them over your shoulders so they don't fall. Perfect. Let me turn back around. Sweet. <laughs> I'll let you do the pounding. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Trying this on. Now that we've fitted the harness to the model, we're ready to add our buckle. Now that we've completed all of our buckles, we're going to add the middle strap for our belt. 
I always start by cutting the ends so they're rounded. That is a cool tool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> I'm going to mark my belt holes. I do them an inch apart. We'll start with three. And we can use our hole punch. getting so close to finishing. Lastly, for our dangly bits, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a loop. For Loopy loop loop. A belt loop. loop, loop. <laughs> I have a stapler for this. I'll just roll that up. Send it on in. Don't staple your finger. Oh yeah, that would hurt. Nice. Well, that was a lot of fun. What do you think? I love it. It's going to be so much fun to style it with different outfits and yeah. And that color looks great on you. Thank you. I love it. Thank you guys for joining. Stay tuned for our, the next episode on your sis page. Just do it again. Just, we can cut from... Yeah, you can cut from there. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Stay tuned for another episode on Yursa's page. We'll be making some camera straps. Cause I need new camera straps. And I figured since I have some,